Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, we appreciate uh, your willingness to work with us on this legislation. We have a bill that we'll, we'll want to talk about as well. Um, facial recognition is a powerful new technology that is being widely used by both government agencies and private sector companies. Its sales have experienced a 20% year-to-year growth since 2016, and the market is expected to be valued at $8.9 billion by 2022. Increasingly, local, state, and federal government entities are utilizing facial recognition technology mm -hmm. under the guise of law enforcement and public welfare, but with little to no accountability. With this technology, the government can capture faces in public places, identify individuals, which allows the tracking of our movements, patterns, and behavior. All of this is currently happening without legislation to balance legitimate government functions with American civil liberties. That must change. And while this hearing is about commercial uses of facial recognition, I want to be very clear, I have no intention of unnecessarily hampering technological advancement in the private sector. We understand and appreciate the great promise that te this technology holds for making our lives better. It's already improving data security and leading to greater efficiency and verification and identification that prevents theft and protects consumers. The urgent issue, the urgent issue we must tackle is reigning in the government's unchecked use of this technology when it impairs our freedoms and our liberties. Our late chairman, Elijah Cummings, became concerned about government use of facial recognition technology after learning it was used to surveil protest in his district related to the death of Freddie Gray. He saw this as a deeply inappropriate encroachment upon the freedoms of speech and association, and I couldn't agree more. This issue transcends politics. It doesn't matter if it's a President Trump rally or a Bernie Sanders rally. The idea of American citizens being tracked and cataloged for merely showing their faces in public is deeply troubling. It is imperative that Congress understands the effects of this technology on our constitutional liberties. The invasiveness of facial recognition technology has already led a number of localities to ban its government agencies from buying or using digital facial recognition for any purpose. This trend threatens to create a patchwork of laws that will result in uncertainty and may, and may impede legitimate uses of the technology. Unfortunately, this is not an issue we should leave to the courts. Facial recognition presents novel questions that are best answered by congressional policymaking, which can establish a national consensus. The unique government-wide focus of this committee allows us to consider legislation to address facial recognition technology here at the federal level. We know that a number of federal government agencies possess facial recognition technology and use it without guidance from Congress, despite its serious implications on our First and Fourth Amendment rights. At the bare minimum, we must understand how and when federal agencies are using this technology and for what purpose. Currently, we do not know even this basic information. Because our committee has jurisdiction over the entire federal government's use of emerging technology, we must start by pursuing policy solutions to address this fundamental information. It is our intention as well to introduce legislation. We're working, trying to work with <clears throat> both sides here, uh, trying to work together that will provide transparency and accountability with respect to the federal government's purchase and use of this technology and this software. I'm pleased to be working with my colleagues across the aisle on the bill that would address these questions. And again, I want to thank you, Madam Chairwoman, and I look forward to hearing from our witnesses today and thank them for being here.